millions have been infected and hundreds of thousands have so far died from coronavirus. But what's the risk to children? Here's what parents need to know. Can children get coronavirus? Yes, children can get coronavirus, but children seem to get it less often than adults and it's often not as serious. All of the data that's come out of China and Europe uh, the UK and America is that people who are older, people with comorbidities, um, people who are obese and men more than women are more susceptible to severe COVID. Children fortunately have, be, have experienced extremely mild disease. Even so, you still need to watch out for the symptoms, which are a high temperature and a new continuous cough. Can children spread coronavirus? Experts in the UK say it's not clear. A recent evidence review found there's been no single instance of a child under 10 transmitting the virus. In Switzerland, children under 10 are now allowed to hug their grandparents after public health officials concluded they posed no risk to them. But opinion is still divided. I've not seen any compelling data at all that convinces me that children can't spread coronavirus. So in my opinion, it's still really important for children not to be in contact with vulnerable groups. That includes the elderly and people with comorbidities who are currently shielding. What is Kawasaki disease and why is it being talked about in relation to coronavirus and children? children have been hospitalised with symptoms which initially looked like sepsis and some of those patients have tested positive for COVID-19. This has prompted experts in the medical community to question whether this could be an extreme inflammatory reaction to COVID among very young patients. The reason a number of people have been talking about Kawasaki disease and associating it with COVID in this past week is because some of the features of the children that raised the alert over the past week are not dissimilar to the features we see in children with Kawasaki disease. And the features include fever and rashes and red eyes and red lips. I think it's really important to be absolutely clear that this condition has affected a handful of children. So we have 11.5 million children in this country and we're talking about a handful of children who have had this inflammatory condition. I think that clinicians need to be mindful of it because it impacts on how we treat a very small proportion of children. I think that parents should simply be looking out for signs of the unwell child. This is exquisitely rare. How should I care for my child if they have mild coronavirus symptoms? If your child's well enough to be looked after at home, experts recommend that parents treat symptoms of fever or pain related to COVID-19 with paracetamol. The advice to parents remains the same. If you're worried about your child for whatever reason, contact NHS 111 or your family doctor for urgent advice. If it's an emergency, contact 999. And if a professional tells you to go to hospital,